Elementary OS, which just released version 8.0 uh, about an hour ago, has declared itself the DEI Linux distribution. This is a real thing that's happening. They are literally coming out and declaring that they are the, the diversity, equity, and inclusion Linux distribution of them all. This is a fascinating strategy to me. At a time when open source projects across the land, Linux distributions, uh, package management tools, even programming languages are all but melting down and imploding on themselves themselves because of woke and DEI fueled code of conduct internal conflicts with mass bannings and purges of of anyone who's perceived as being anywhere to the right of extreme leftists. It's it's an intense time in the open source world and the elementary OS team has decided that they're really going to go all in. They're pushing their chips right to the middle of the table, and they're saying flat out that if you like DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is losing popularity among corporate America left and right right now, if you like it, elementary OS is the home for you. And this is not the first time that they've gotten extraordinarily political. The founder of elementary OS has repeatedly come out and attacked anyone who is centrist or right of center, including yours truly. I'm going to go over some of this in detail now because it's it's a fascinating strategy. I, I am I am really curious to see how it works for them. I mean, legitimately. Um, so if you go to elementary.io, you can read in their blog a, a very comprehensive and very, very long announcement post about elementary OS 8. And they said for version 8, the team has focused on three areas. First, creating a new secure session that ensures applications respect privacy and require consent. Okay, that sounds good. Second, a brand new dock with productive multitasking and window management features. Okay, sure. And third, empowering our diverse community through inclusive design. Now, I read through the announcement and there were some interesting things in here, including some work that they've done around uh, helping people with visual disabilities, having people have poor eyesight in using elementary OS. I don't know how well all of that works. Um, honestly, a little bit of it looks a little half baked, but I like those sorts of things. Those are cool features. Big, big props for that. But the inclusive design and the diverse community bit, that got me like thinking. I'm like, really? That's what you focus on for a Linux distribution. Well, what exactly does that mean? So I went and checked out the Mastodon account for the founder of, of Elementary OS, the one person that remains that is still actively working on elementary. Uh, and <laughs> Dan Foray, Daniel Foray posted this when, as he was working on the draft of the press release a few days back, he posted, quote, this is an actual placeholder text in my draft right now uh, for his press release. Pull quote about how elementary OS is the DEI distro, take that fascists. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you know, a pull quote is is essentially a, a an easy to pull quote, right? Something that you can pull out of a press release, put it off to the side, and and make a a nice headline, make a big splash, make a good summary. It's something that's going to grab people's attention. So Dan decided he was going to create a pull quote around how Elementary OS is the DEI Linux distribution. Now, what's interesting is that appears to have been scrapped at the last minute because the actual blog post doesn't seem to include any reference to fascism or DEI Linux distributions, but clearly that was their key point. Um, and as the, along the same lines, Dan was talking at length about how he wanted to come up with a good tagline for the elementary OS 8 release. Right. So he, quote, wanted to put a bow on this thing. Some of the thoughts I'm trying to channel right now, and I'm just going to read them to you so you can see where the elementary development team had their heads at when they were thinking about how elementary is positioned and marketed. Feel safe. I am in control. Gives me peace of mind. Considerate of me. I was accounted for. I am included. My needs matter. I don't have to worry. I can manage this. 
it feels a little bit, I don't know if you guys remember Stuart Smalley, Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley, the Al Franken bit on Saturday Night Live, the I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. It kind of feels like a, a list of daily affirmations. The inclusion, the, the bits of I am included, my needs matter. That's an interesting approach for an operating system. Like you don't see um, Windows and and Mac OS or Debian or Ubuntu or anything come out and say and say as their tagline for the operating system, I am included. My needs matter. <laughs> Considerate of me. And uh, I'm not saying any of those things are bad things. It's just a fascinating approach for an operating system to take. And it also, verbiage-wise, it does tie in a lot with with very very much a lot of the DEI talking points, right? Those they tend to use a lot of words and and verbiage a lot like those 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 we see here. And so when he says that he wanted to create a pull quote about how elementary OS is the DEI distribution, take that fascist, well, that actually that makes a fair, fair amount of sense. Now what's what's interesting about all this is elementary OS used to be a much larger organization. Um, it, at one point, there were several people working on it as several employees. It was actually going on the up and up in terms of revenue. It was becoming an actual honest to goodness operating system company, much like with what we see it with Ubuntu being part of Canonical and the like. I mean, it was small, but it was it was moving on up in the world. That all imploded uh, a little less than two years ago. The, the whole thing came crashing down. It got incredibly, incredibly testy. The founders started infighting. There was talk of legal fights and, and everything. And what ended up happening was the one sole person was left after after all the dust was settled there was one person who was making their living off of elementary os and that was daniel foray um uh now uh, daniel foray is a is a guy that identifies as a trans woman right and over the years daniel foray has made some pretty extreme political statements and it appears that he's kind of pulling his personal extreme politics into the marketing of the linux distribution that he creates which is, it's totally his choice to do that it's gonna be interesting to see how that works uh, for for example um uh, about oh gosh about two years ago he went on a, a rant about how you know, I guess it wasn't quite two years ago where he was going to leave Twitter at the time because uh, Elon Musk was buying it and they were talking about uh, they were platforming Republicans, by meaning they didn't ban Republicans. And so he left it. Um, and so he also went on repeated rants saying that people who were not supportive of his personal politics should not be using elementary, should not contribute to elementary, would not be welcome in, in elementary. Um, quote, and this is just one of his posts, I guess it's my turn to echo what other trans people in the Linux space have been saying. If all you care about is the software, you still need to care about trans people. An attack on trans rights is an attack on desktop Linux. Several of the major things you probably care about and use every day are made or maintained by trans people. Even if you only care about the software, you still need to care about what happens to the people who make it? We need you to show up. Um, so, he, you know, he made a lot of statements along those lines, uh, statements against far right extremists like, you know, uh, Governor DeSantis and other people. That's he termed them all far right extremists, though. It seems from his, his post that anyone who is centrist is a far right extremist as far as uh, Dan Foray is concerned. Uh, he's also gone on a couple of rants about me <laughs> I'm gonna read it now because some of them are amazing. He's repeatedly over and over again threatened people and and made fun of people and and chided people who platform Lunduk, meaning if you speak to me at all, if you post links to any one of my articles or shows that you you are a bad person. Uh, he posted this uh, back in February, quote. I'm going to be very beeping explicit here in case you still don't get it. If you repost or platform or collaborate with people like Brian Lunduk or Tom Morosky, aka Switch to Linux, and I end up on the news, you are partially to blame. It is your fault for helping normalize people that are promoting hateful attitudes against trans people and me specifically. You are part of the spread of the violence that I experience. You are not 
not neutral. He goes on those things quite a lot. You, he yells at people and and attacks people for platforming anyone who he doesn't like. It's, it gets very extreme. Now, I'm not even sure what he's saying there. I'm not sure if he's saying that I'm going to hurt him or if he's saying that he's going to murder me and then he's going to get in the news because he murdered me. And then if that happens, that it's someone else's fault because they linked to me or mentioned my name. I, I don't know. I am honestly not sure. It's a little bit wackadoodle. Uh, the elementary Mastodon account uh, also just posted a poll asking people what their what they were most excited for in the elementary OS 8 release. And again, they have those three items, secure session with Wayland, brand new dock, or inclusive design and accessibility. Okay, inclusive design, right? Inclusivity and diversity of communities is a core thing. And that clearly is the least interesting thing <laughs> with just 32% of the vote. That was the, the least interesting thing uh, that anyone of the three for everyone who's voted so far. We'll see how that goes as time goes on. But here's here's what I'm really wondering. I'm truly wondering if this is a viable marketing strategy for an operating system, right? Because realistically, I, I think it might be. Because for elementary OS to be successful, it does not need to have 40, 50, 60% market share. Shoot, it doesn't even need to have half a percent market share. It merely needs to have a large enough audience to be self-sustaining, to bring in um, enough revenue to continue development, right? That's all that they need. And are there enough people who would choose to use an operating system almost entirely based on the idea that that operating system is woke or is a DEI supporting operating system that bans Republicans, that attacks conservative journalists, that that screams and swears about anyone who isn't supportive of, you know, uh, trans ideology and fetishes and the like, right? Is is that going to be enough of a sell to bring over a large enough audience to start using and supporting elementary OS 8 that they can really lean into that as a marketing decision. I think it, it might be because again, it doesn't need to be huge, you know, with elementary OS, if they have merely thousands it doesn't even necessarily need to be tens of thousands, but thousands of individuals who are willing to contribute financially to what they're doing, they can probably stay afloat. So are there that many people who would choose their OS based on extreme wokeness? They're like this, you know, I can't use Debian anymore. Or I can't use Fedora anymore. It's not woke or DEI loving enough, but elementary OS is extreme. So I can use that one, right? Are there enough of those people? I don't know for sure. I honestly don't know for sure, but I think it's entirely possible. And what's also equally fascinating about this is elementary and the founder of elementary clearly are extraordinarily exclusionary, right? They, they say that other people are not welcome, right? If you are conservative, you are not welcome to be part of whatever elementary is. You're just not welcome there, right? You will be blocked, you will be banned, you will be ostracized, you will be sweared at and made fun of, right? That's how they work. So what's interesting about that is we will still see, despite that extraordinarily hateful approach to things, we will still see coverage of elementary OS, OS 8 in places like ZDNet, the register, etc., that will be positive because it is it is positive for that leftist, that extreme left, not even normal leftist, but like far, far, like crazy extreme leftist viewpoint, right? And that's an acceptable viewpoint to have. So you'll still get press coverage for the operating system, even if you take that hard stance. What's fascinating is if you did the same thing, but flipped it. If you were a an exclusionary operating system, but only allowed in people who were on the right, 
people who were right of center, who were conservative, etc., um, you would be ostracized. You would either be ignored completely, no matter how big your market share was, you'd be either ignored completely by the tech press, or you'd be attacked by the same tech press that I guarantee you will not specifically talk about these things that 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 elementary OS is doing. They're going to ignore the the DEI intro uh, distro stuff. They're going to ignore the take that fascist stuff. No, no, I don't I don't like fascist, but but I mean, you know that when they say take that fascist, they're not really talking about fascist. They're talking about anyone who's centrist or right of center. It's it's crazy. But but it's fascinating to me to see how this may or may not work and may not play out as a strategy. I'm going to keep an eye on this because it's just it's just bizarre. It's just truly, truly bizarre. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a few other Linux distributions take a similar stance. Uh, Asahi Linux maybe is one example where Asahi has come out and made similar political statements where they don't want people who are not in agreement with their politics to be part of their organization. They they actually, the creator of Asahi Linux, which is a very cool project, by the way, I like Asahi Linux from a technical perspective, um, but he's come out and said that uh, if you don't agree with his politics, he doesn't even want you using the operating system. Um, so it's, it's fascinating to see what will happen with that. I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye out on this and see what the results are. Are is elementary OS 8 going to be a success in part because they have taken such a hard edged political stance far more extreme than I think at this point, any operating system I'm aware of, right? I, I've seen many operating systems that have some very woke policies. I've seen many operating systems that um, have had people who have mouthed off a lot about politics, but I've yet to see one that that it's that this level of success fully ally themselves with a political ideology and say we are the DEI distro. <laughs> it's amazing to me. That's that's amazing that they're going that route. Um I, I tell you for me it's it's certainly off putting. I I definitely would be a knock against using elementary OS from from my point of view. But I'm curious to see if other people will agree or disagree, uh, or if that's even going to enter into it. Will people just simply ignore that piece of, of mar marketing and propaganda coming out of elementary entirely? We're going to find out. And it's also going to be interesting to see how much they push that, because I think they pulled back on that a little bit right before the release, because they they pulled those quotes out of it. They pulled out the pull quote, um, which suggests to me that even Daniel Foray uh, he was a little bit uncertain about whether or not it would land well. That, that would be my guess. Um, but we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, th thank you to all the Lunduke Journal subscribers. Go to lunduke.com and click on all the links. You love links. Links are amazing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes, across the inner tubes, I do declare, end broadcast.